Yo, what is up everybody? I am Ami Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel, Mother Freaker! If you can't tell, I'm freaking toe-rooted up, up in here. Freaking just recycled my freaking diva wig and it's not even that bad of a match. I haven't cosplayed in forever. Got this on freaking AliExpress for 39 bucks. It comes with both of them. I'll leave the link in the description if you want it. I'm already sweating under all of this. Why did I ever cosplay and think this was a great idea? But here is another well-awaited fruits basket update. And I'd like to first thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. I know freaking video was late again. I'm sorry. It was finals week at my school. Y'all know I'm freaking in uni and we go by the quarter system, which is freaking weird because that means class is only like 10 weeks long and then you have a final and then you have one week break and then you go back to school. I fucking hate it. Sorry that the video is extra, extra late today. Thank you guys so much for being so patient with me. What I freaking love is I don't even have to go on Twitter anymore if I freaking want updates y'all freaking update for me I freaking get on my phone one freaking morning you know check my Instagram Twitter notifications whatever and it was full of yo the freaking third fruits basket trailer is out watch it bitch and I watched it it was beautiful but a lot of you guys wanted me to react to it and I don't know if it's just me let me know but I don't know I don't I personally don't like doing react videos that much I don't like just sitting there live and that's it. I wanted to do something cooler. I freaking spent hours after this trailer dropped. I spent hours trying to get every clip and I made a freaking Fruits Basket 2001 anime to the 2019 reboot trailer comparison video. And let's get into it. The trailer was freaking beautiful. You freaking, you recognize every freaking scene from Toru all freaking dirtied up to freaking falling. And then Kyo's freaking out. Can, can we talk about how Kyo is so, I mean, I loved him. Kyo was zaddy. Okay, Kyo was zaddy in the first Fruits Basket. But can we talk about how freaking adorable he is in the reboot. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose all my shit in the theater. I'm gonna be crying in the club. I'm not ready for this ish. I saw Kagura and I was like, um, yes, queen. Yes, mama. Work, bitch. Hot to heart. Mm. Lord, give me strength. That man is so... Oh my god. In the freaking reboot, he looks so fucking fine. Is this video just on me being thirsty again for like 10 minutes? Might as well. Might as well be. You see Ayame, Hattori, Shigure, Momiji freaking Momiji speaks German in this shit fucking hell yeah in the anime it kind of it didn't really touch that much on the fact that he was German like it showed he was like a halfer and that he was like blonde and shit but you never got that oh he's freaking German and as soon as I heard him freaking speak German in the freaking trailer I was like holy crap this legit and I worked really hard I freaking worked hours trying to find every little bit to match the scenes exactly to the reboot obviously not all of them are perfect obviously not all of them are HD quality because the freaking fruits basket is like on freaking 340 or something like now it's like freaking 1080 HP or some shit Akito and you hear it as soon as you hear Akito talk I hear how do he I hear that freaking feminine woman just trying to brask out of the masculinity covering her voice and I I, I can't fucking wait. I love the, how they kept the integrity of all the characters. I also love that you still see that comedic aspect in it. Like that was like one thing people wanted. People didn't want it to be too serious. People wanted it to still be funny. Who else is gonna cosplay to the freaking theatrical theater release? This ho is! I'm ready to party and I'm also ready to cry in the club. But the trailer is so beautiful. I did cry. But I don't know, you guys just wanna see me freaking cry, don't you? That's why you guys want me to do react videos, you freaking sick fucks. I swear, all y'all just wanna freaking see me cry. And that's why you want me to do react videos. I can't help it, y'all. I can't help that I'm an emotional piece of baggage and any little twink makes me sob. I can't, I'm, I can't, I'm sorry. A lot of fans, including myself, are really anticipating, will the opening song be the same? Will we still have the iconic, beautiful music that made us love this show so much? And unfortunately, yes, the opening and outro are changing. It was revealed on Fruits Basket officials Twitter and Facebook that the opening song for Fruits Basket season one will be again by Beverly, which is fairy tale final ending one. And the ending will be Lucky Ending by Vickel Blanca, which is Black Clover's opening number three. And I heard a lot of people are actually really happy about this because they love these songs. They're so beautiful. They're so emotional. It's like perfect. But a lot of people 
people are on the other side, kind of, you know, just wishing that I was so happy when you smiled. <laughs> I'm, I was not gonna lie, I was kind of a little bit bummed. I was kind of hoping, I was kind of hoping that we would just get like a, another version of Four Fruits Basket, maybe just played differently, sang by different people. I was at least hoping for that. The music from the trailer was very beautiful, and I'm hoping that we will still get that for the rest of the season. Also, a lot of people noticed and were freaking out about that it said first season, insinuating and or in my brain confirming we are gonna get more than one season, which is freaking needed. Like, y'all freaking, there's over 20 freaking mangas. We deserve more than one fucking season, come on. Oh, another thing, I also wanted to go through the freaking site. So freaking fruba.gp, which is the main site that releases all the new news, it discusses the live events, character releases, voice actors, it's all on their main website. They added the new visual art to the head of the homepage, you see freaking right there, April 5th, freaking Aaron on TV Tokyo, my heart cannot. It's just so beautiful, and they changed it to freaking orangey red. I don't know why you do that, but I'm okay. Oh, and since we're there, since we're on that other topic, freaking the voice actor for Toru's mom came out. I, like, there, there wasn't a lot of other announcements, so I didn't want to make a video just talking about Toru's mom. Beautiful Toru's mom, Kyoko Honda. She is a fucking queen. Give me that freaking red butterfly. She is so beautiful. And the Japanese voice actress for Kyoko is Miyuki Sawashiro. She voiced Shinku in Rose and Maiden, Tazune from Kamichama Karin, Shizuku from Naruto Shippuden, Yoru Shota, X Diamond, and the character Egg, and young Ikto Tsukiyomi from Shugo Chara. For those who don't know, don't know Shugo Chara, that's one of my favorite animes like in the whole world. Like, um, I love it so much. Masami Iwasawa from Angel Beats, Yomi Takanashi and Deadmaster from Black Rock Shooter, Salty from Dudadada. A freaking queen! Haruka Nanami from Utano Prince Sama, Urapiko from Hunter x Hunter, Seri Awashima from K Project, <laughs> my beautiful queen, I love you, Shion from Psycho Pass, and the English dub voice actress for Kyoko Honda is Lydia Makai. And she has given her voice for Madam Red in Black Butler, Michael Abe from Tokyo Ghoul, Yosuke Stepmother in Death Parade, Shion from Psycho Pass 2, Ukraine from Hitalia, Tamo from Razio plus Vampire, Trisha Elric, freaking Ed and Al's mom from Full Metal Alchemist, Rachel's mother from Soul Eater, Sloth, Juliet Douglas from Full Metal, Boa Hancock from One Piece. So this is basically the mother of English voice acting, as she's done so many moms. So I think she is a perfect fit for the voice of Kyoko Honda Toru's mom. That's it for this video. I'm gonna have like two more by this week because mama is late and mama needs to get back on the grind, yo. And before we go, we got some showstoppers to announce. And this week's showstopper is underscore A underscore B underscore C underscore. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my Weeb family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye.